Dentistry goes by really really quickly and before you know it you'll be done. I'm now in fourth year and honestly I've been loving uni life. So I'm going to sprinkle in some uni advice as well as some dentistry advice because I think both are really important. The first tip is quite generic but really life changing is that no matter how homesick, how tired, how you know all of those things you are you have to socialize very like a lot at the start. So you know there'll be loads of parties and stuff like that and you have to make sure you go out of your way to go to these things, go to societies, talk to people in your lectures. With dentistry and medicine it's very easy for it to get like cliquey so you want to make sure that you're talking to all of these people and you have opportunities to make friends and you know socialize with these people and these people might not be your lifelong friends or whatever but you're at least getting yourself out there and stuff like that and you're not like closed off and stuff you're just basically making it a lot easier for yourself and to be honest you'll be in dentistry for five years so you want to get to know the people in your year the second tip for you here is to figure out an organization system that works for you early on so university is very very different to college or sixth form wherever you went um and every university handles dentistry differently so you want to figure out a way that you're going to handle lectures and stuff like that. First of all, obviously you want to figure out how your university do it. So, you know, are there pre-recorded lectures or, you know, are there more live sessions? How are you going to be learning your clinical stuff? And then you have to figure out a way, what is it on your exams and what you need to learn and figure out an efficient way to go through your lectures and go through the information that you needed to do. The aim here is basically to spend as little time as you can studying so you can really enjoy university life and like, you know, feel not stressed out. And I have a video all over here, um, all about A-level studying and how to really effectively study and stuff like that. And I think a lot of those principles like also make sense for university. However, um, I will be making a whole video of how I study effectively in dentistry. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that upload. And um, yeah. And my next step kind of follows on from the last one and that is make sure you do not fall behind on your lectures because literally once you fall behind on university, it's like you'll never catch up. You will actually never catch up. So you need to make sure that you're on top of it. You make sure that every single week you go through those lectures or you go through the material that you needed to do or like, you know, you're ready for your patients that are coming up. Um, so yeah. So the next thing that I think is so, so, so useful is kind of like a shady one, but it's make sure you find people in the older years that you can talk to. Um, obviously like become friends with them. I'm friends with like people in all years um, in dentistry at my university. But um, if you talk to these older people, they can kind of, they have more experience. They know what things are important, what things you should focus on, what things come up again and again on exams and stuff like that, and what are good resources. And just don't make it like a weird friendship where you're just asking for help. Make it like a genuine friendship. You know, there are some really cool people that you can meet in all the years. So the next tip is just kind of something to keep you on top of your workload and the exams that you have and make sure that you pass. Is basically every year, I always start off by making a two pass first year or two pass fourth year right now. Um, so it basically includes all of the different exam dates um, so the dates and then if it's like a competency so like um, like a clinical skills kind of thing I usually have like the criteria underneath it so in Notion I know you can do toggles and stuff like that so I'll have every single exam and then I'll have every single essay then I'll have like all the things that would be needed to, to pass this year including things like even like attendance for certain like seminars and stuff that were mandatory so yeah I have like all the meetings academic meetings and usually there isn't actually that much but it's really satisfying to like tick them off when you go through them and then like towards the end of the year you'll have like only like two things left on that list and that's really helpful. So the next one is kind of more like a personal thing is that towards the starting of your dental career you'll be focusing more on the exams that are like kind of like arbitrary facts that you have to memorize you know like what is this specific bacteria and you know what is the pathway and Krebs cycle you know like stuff that you feel like you don't actually need to know for dentistry but um, my tip is not to disregard all of the clinical stuff so even if you're not being asked and um, questioned on this stuff at the start I think it's really important to build those skills really early. Um, my university is quite good because we start clinical skills like really really early but a lot of universities don't so I think just make sure that you don't like negate this kind of stuff. I'm going to make loads of videos on like clinical dentistry and stuff like that and how I organize my notes and you know patient diaries and how I'm ready for examinations and all of this stuff so um, yeah check um, subscribe so you don't miss out on the upload because it'll be coming really soon um, yeah because at the end of the day I think like these memorization facts aren't going to get you anywhere you're going to be doing dentistry for the rest of your life mostly kind of like it's going to be a lifelong career so these clinical skills and these basics are things that you need to nail down and will help you for all of the years the next one I think is quite important that you listen to because a lot of us who got into dental school are really competitive you know we have really good A-level grades you're used to being at the top of your class you know you've done your UK cat which was really hard you've done all of these things that like make you like an overachiever but dental school is really hard like it's notorious really hard so if you fail an exam or if you fail a clinical capability or even if you have to retake a year like it's not the end of the world like it's one year or you know one exam compared to you know like it's a very hard 
like career and it's got like a high entry requirement for a reason not everyone's going to be doing the same and you know some people might struggle with academics some people might struggle with clinical stuff some people might struggle with both and that's completely fine with like practice and like with hard work and you know all of those things you will get better at these things and you know asking people how they did well and passed and all of these things um but it's not the end of the world it's just you know don't take it to heart because at the start of dental school i think um especially with the exams and stuff if anyone failed it was like oh my god you failed but um now that i'm in fourth year pretty much everyone has failed at least one exam or like clinical capability and stuff like that but they do give you re-chances to you know have a second attempt and stuff like that so do not worry and my next point is kind of contradictory to what i just said but you know everyone thinks of dentistry as really really hard and like obviously it is yeah but it is also very doable i think you know the people who find it really really hard are sometimes doing things the wrong way so if you're spending every single minute of your life studying that's not the right way to do it because you have to have a life you have to you know have that social life balance you know enjoy your life at the same time life is not all about dentistry there are more things you know have a side hobby and stuff like that go out with your friends have dinner like make time to make good food and it's yeah it's not just about studying i think if you're studying effectively and you're you know learning stuff effectively as long as you're doing that that's fine and as long as you pass we're all going to graduate as dentists at the end of the day whether you you know come first place or 50th place to be honest i think a lot of your learning happens in clinics and when you're actually working so like you know when you've a lot of people say when you've graduated dentistry that's just the beginning of your dental career you know you're, you're, you've got so much to learn especially over your foundation yeah you learn so so much because you're literally just doing practice work over and over and over again and i know like my university does a lot of clinics and stuff like that so you know we get to learn a lot of how to treat the patient how to treat the implant how to diagnose this xyz and stuff like that but a lot of universities don't and so you don't have to spend the whole of your life studying because i think you actually learn a lot more just by doing and being in practice and doing those kind of things the next one is really really important you know university students are known to be like i'll sleep when i'm dead and stuff like that all nighters and you know going out and then going to lectures at 9 a.m in the morning you know lectures are nine to five sometimes even longer depending on you know transport it's five days a week and you're gonna be tired you're gonna be so tired so make sure you get your sleep make sure you get these routines like in place obviously you're gonna go out sometimes but make sure that when you can like try and sleep early try and get your hours because you'll function so much nicer and when you treat patients they're going to notice that you're a lot happier and not moody you don't have a headache because that's just not fun <laughs> and the next thing is a lot of you will be choosing who you're going to live with very soon because housing like contracts it's quite early on in the year and to be honest at that point you won't even know these people very well but kind of get to know people and figure out okay are they the clean type are they the type that gets stressy during exams are they in this course are they not in this course like who do you want to live with in the um your next year because that's something you kind of have to consider now are you going to live by yourself are you going to live with people i highly recommend living with people because you know university life this experience is something that you will never kind of really be able to experience again after university so yeah um just kind of figure out what you want to do for your housing situation next year who you want to live with how many people you want to live with do you want clean people are you a clean person all of that kind of stuff um but yeah obviously i have so 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 many more tips and stuff like that about you know dental school and getting into dental school and life as a dental student because i'm now a fourth year so make sure you check out my channel because i have so so many videos there and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and comment down below because i reply to every single one of them and i will see you in the next one bye